Oh, goodness, yo. All right. Yo, what up, my marshmallow motherfucker? It's been a while, y'all. This is the most recent me that you're seeing right now. Those other two videos that I put out when I finally came back, those were like a while ago. But this is a more recent me. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I got my little twist in. Hold up. My forehead is like kind of going crazy with this thing. I've had these in for like a good three weeks now or so. Four to three weeks. I don't know about. But my forehead's going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, check it out. I got, I had to get like three, four extensions like this this and this and like another one somewhere everything else is my natural hair you can see you know but i had to get like four extensions so these long ones like here here and like i think one over here or something are extensions the rest is my natural hair but there are like like four extensions in the front to make my hair a little longer in the front because my hair in the back grows longer than the hair in the front they had to put a little bit of extension but it's not that bad it's not that bad but we gonna cover this forehead i'm not gonna lie it's so beautiful but damn yeah, okay, we looking nice. Hey, y'all, what's good? Okay, so today, I know y'all heard about back in the day. Story time, my story animated, all that stuff. Y'all, I know y'all heard about it. My story animated was filled with the most craziest, wildest, all over the place types of videos that people would react to. And the thing is, bro, y'all, I suck at reacting. I mean, well, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if I do. I don't know if I don't. I play games, I commentate. But I don't really react to stuff that much. So I got my food right here. And y'all, I didn't eat. It's five in the afternoon. I didn't eat breakfast. I want a big breakfast. My mom made me pick this big plate of pancakes and then bacon and eggs. And I didn't. And I told her, my mom said, I'll make the pancakes for you. I'm like, I like them thick and big. Pause. And my mom was like, okay. So then she made these giant ass pancakes. I'm going to eat them too. I don't give a damn. I'm small as Y'all see, but like, you know what I'm saying? I've been hitting the... You know what I'm saying? I've been hitting, I've been hitting workout and I'm work, working out, you know? But we gonna react to these animations and I got a few listed out that we are gonna watch and stuff like that. So, uh, y'all, yeah, y'all are gonna watch me eat and I'm just gonna react to these things, I guess. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know. Tell me if y'all like, like this stuff or whatever, but we gonna see how it goes and, uh, yeah. I don't remember which one we did. I don't know if it's my story animated or something else. Okay, so we got a few videos here. My sister is my mom. I'm ugly and dating the hottest girls in my school. Locked up with my crush during COVID. I destroyed my dad's life. Yeah, this is share my story. So we're gonna start with locked up with my crush during. We're not gonna, we're not gonna say that. Actually not. Nah, can I get in trouble for watching this one since it's about the C word? Let, let's do I hid under my friend's bed. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, all right. My mom's new husband had a gorgeous daughter named Elaine. I met her at the wedding and... Hold on. My mom's new husband had a gorgeous daughter named Elaine. We already have a really bad fucking start. This nigga's already talking about... His, this nigga's his sister-in-law now, and this nigga's already talking about fucking his, his, his sister. All right, bro, keep it going. I met her at the wedding and said... Hey, I'm Joe, your new stepbrother. Oh God, just stay away from me, you creep. Huh, I guess she didn't hang out with nerds like me. Uh, Granted, yeah, my nigga. she looked like a goddess while I was just an average dude. But nigga, then we no had a one... dinner night in our backyard. I served noodles and accidentally spilled some on Elaine. You creep, you did this on purpose. <laughs> you enjoy harassing me. Okay, girl, first of all, really calm the f down bro why the fuck is she supposed to be this nigga's uh daughter but she got eyes like the mother is this nigga see is this girl secretly like actually like with like like is she a relative of this nigga and that's his actual sister or some shit? these these stories be doing these weird crazy ass twists first of all second of all god fucking damn y'all acting like y'all gonna eat all that shit what is that boogers and pepperoni and with, with, with noodles what, what is that shit? no i'm sorry it was a mistake <sighs> Dad, then give me $200 so I can buy myself a new dress because this one is ruined. We are in the middle of a nice dinner. Let's talk about it later. No! 
Give me okay, see, this girl's already pissing me off. See, the dad is valid. The dad just wants a nice life. He looks washed up, upset. He looks like he's been dealing with this bitch for the rest of his goddamn life ever since mama left and left her alone. This is probably the, re like, you can just see the reason why he don't got somebody else with him. He's trying to have a nice new life. And this bitch over, co over here complaining about her dress that she got off of a damn, it's like one of, it's like one of those window, like, window sheet hanger things. Like, whatever the fuck. That's where she snatched that shit out of. Like, relax. You'll be fine. Wash the shit off. Then she took the bowl of noodles out of my hand, threw it on the ground, and what? screamed. Eat dirt! No, Elaine didn't make a great impression on me. However, I was still shocked Whoa, when I caught her pregnant? openly threatening my mom. My dad deserves better than you. You don't even have a job. What? Sure I do. I just took some time off from work because I'm pregnant. Are you kidding me? You're such a freeloader. Say what you want. I take good care of the household. Elaine stepped close to my mom, put her hands on her belly, and said, Then let's hope nothing bad happens to the baby. What the? Yo, what the? F you bet. Yeah, come in there. I had enough and pushed her away. Damn, don't touch back my up. mom. Oh, don't worry. Soon it will all be over anyway. I wasn't sure what Elaine meant. Was she seriously threatening to hurt my mom's baby? If so, they should have put her in a psychiatric institution right then and there. <laughs> okay, bro, there's something wrong with this bitch, bro. I'm surprised this dad did. This dad is like, yo, you better tell. I don't know what he's about to do right now, but you know damn well this. I don't know, bro. You gotta get this bitch whooped. Has she ever been whooped? How old is this bitch? They they look like they'd be at least like 16, 17. Has this bitch ever gotten a whoop? Because I'm so sorry, bro, but with this attitude that's going on right now, man, I'd be like, she'd be like, Dad, give me $200. I need a new dress. <laughs> bitch, slap the f out her. She ain't getting sh The next day, I caught Elaine opening the door for some sketchy looking guy. What the fuck? Follow me upstairs. I had to know what was going on, so I quickly ran into her room and hid under the bed. They came inside and Elaine locked the door. Show it to me. Okay, but watch yourself. This is some hard stuff. <laughs> I thought this I thought she meant something else. Yo. I thought he was gonna be like, okay. <laughs> Show it to me. Okay. This is some hard stuff. I know this bitch ain't doing crack. I know this bitch, she she looked like a smoker. Actually, she might be doing crack. I don't know. And why do they got this dark filter, like this silhouette filter? It's daylight, y'all. Like, stop acting like we don't know who this is. We just saw them. One of these pills can kill more than a dozen grown men. Good. What? What about my payment? Don't worry. Elaine gave the guy some money and also a long kiss. I uh... think they wanted to take things further, but Elaine said, Did you hear that? Crap! My dad's home! Go out the window! It was all so sketchy. But Elaine finally left her room, and I was able to crawl out from under her bed. Unfortunately, that's when my stepdad came into the room. What are you creep doing under Elaine's bed? Wait, wait. Um, okay, you won't believe me, but I think Elaine wants to poison my mom. That's why I had to eavesdrop on her. Of course, he didn't believe me. He wanted to know how long I'd been hiding under my stepsister's bed, and... <laughs> okay, bro, first of all, real quick, I'm gonna be real with you real quick, okay, okay? Why is this dude not believing him after the crazy-ass shit that he's probably had to deal with in this daughter anyway? Like, bro, you look tired, you look old as shit. Oh, mama look like she got a lot more going on than you. She look like she, like, got her life set, she cool, even pregnant, she look all right. And when women get pregnant, they be, you know what I'm saying? They be having some of that mom look, you know, stuff like that. And she looked like a mom, but she looked like a well-organized woman. This nigga looked washed up. He looked tired. I don't know, bro. This girl probably went and put him through hell. And now he's manipulated in the mind to think she's right every time. Like, bro, relax. It really sucked. Suddenly, everyone in my family thought I was a creep and that they had to protect Elaine from me. Even your mom? Elaine, of course, exploited that. The next week, she claimed I had woken her up in the middle of the night and asked her to kiss me. What? And because I'd been caught creeping around before, everyone believed her. She took things even further when she said, Some of my clothes are missing. I think Joe stole them. <laughs> no, I didn't. That would be weird and gross. Oh boy, let me search your room. Of course, my stepdad found Elaine's dress under my pillow. I said, she put it there. I would never do that. 
But of course, no one believed me. Okay. Anyway, one day, out of nowhere. Do y'all not see this, like. See, this is why I don't mess with. Never mind, y'all. You know that blue eyed devil shit that they be saying about. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta stop before this video gets taken down. <laughs> All I gotta say is look at her, y'all. Look at the hair. Look at the eyes. Look at the skin. No, no, no. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I <laughs> Relax, y'all. Relax, y'all. I'm not. No ratio. I'm just kidding, y'all. Relax. Calm down. Elaine decided to cook a veggie bowl for my mom. It was so suspicious because she normally never did any housework. How lovely of you. Thank you, Elaine. No, mom. You can't eat that. I think Elaine wants to poison you and the baby. Mm. Oh, Joe. That again? Wow! Didn't she just threaten your stupid ass about that baby in your stomach? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. If that was my mom, yo, I'm sorry. I don't like yelling at my mama, but I'd yell at her like crazy if she started pressing me like this after some random bitch that just threatened you about your, you and your baby, and now you over here trusting in every single thing that she does. What the fuck is wrong with you, mom? You better trust me and not this bitch who just threatened your baby. Have I ever threatened your baby? No, that's my brother. What the fuck are you talking about? It's okay. I'm not the best cook anyway. Don't be modest. It looks delicious. It looks no! ugly. No! Let her eat it first. Show me it's safe to eat. But I'm not hungry. I made her try it anyway and forced it in her mouth. Elaine spit the food out saying, Ugh! while her dad screamed. Get away from my daughter, you scumbag! I was grounded for life, and Elaine disappeared for the night, probably to scrub the poison off her teeth and mouth. The next morning, she still woke up sweating like a pig, and my mom said, she must have gotten the flu, that poor thing. No, mom, can't you remember? She poisoned your food yesterday, yeah, and I made her eat her. it herself. That's why she's sick. Stop it, Joe! How do I know you didn't slip poison in my food to frame me? Afterward, I wasn't allowed to be alone in a room with Elaine anymore. My stepdad thought I was a danger to her. Anyway, a few months later, my baby sister was born. Okay, you know what? We, we, you know what? Okay, I haven't been saying anything right now. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see what's going on right now. And she was so freaking cute. Oh, Only okay. Elaine hated her to death. Look at that disgusting lizard. What it's not fuck? even human. No way it will stay in our family. Did she just call the baby a fucking lizard? Bitch, you are not Hanada with those nasty ass fucking purple eyes. You are not Shinobu from fucking Demon Slayer. You want to be so bad though, don't you? Your pale ass, pro your, your pale ass really want to be her. You are not Jessica Rabbit with that with that fuck ass curtain you got on your fucking on your fucking chest and your hair look dry out as f that don't even look like your natural hair color that looks like something you put in your fucking hair and then all of a sudden it just turned into mush dry it's it's gone it's dried up swelled up nasty get a get a get a re dye bitch you monster touch her one time and i'll make you pay for it but when my mom and yeah. stepdad went out on a date elaine was appointed babysitter to protect my newborn sister from her, I planted a camera in Elaine's room so I could monitor her and make sure she didn't hurt okay. the baby. Unfortunately, she somehow noticed the camera, and when our parents came home, she said, Joe is a monster! Look what I found in my room! He must have been surveilling oh me for weeks! Sure enough, my stepdad went to my room and found the video I had recorded of Elaine's room on my laptop. They threw me out the same night, what the and for fuck? months I slept on friends' couches. Life was rough. But then, my mom texted. Wait, you're such a crybaby. Mom, I miss you. Please take care of yourself. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mom, Elaine ate my pizza. Please buy me a new one. Dough only. You're such a crybaby. Mom, I miss you. Please take care of yourself. Your baby sister is sick. We are in the hospital. But then, my mom texted me because my baby sister was in the hospital. I immediately rushed over there, and the doctor explained. She ate something bad, but she will survive. Oh, thank God. But mom, it was Elaine. She poisoned her. You have to move far away from her. Oh, stop it. You've caused enough damage to this family. Well, I guess there's nothing left I can do. Elaine has outplayed me. And That's I honestly how the video doubt my is? baby sister will survive into adulthood with Elaine around. 
but I guess that's just life. No, bro, it's not. What? Bro, that was the most boo-boo fart-ass fucking video I have ever seen in my entire fucking life, bro. So you're telling me this nigga didn't even, like, do anything in the world it takes to, like, 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 you're telling me that he, you didn't bring your phone, see what she was doing, see what she was saying, shit like that. You could have done anything in the world, but you decided not to, bro. Like, that's the thing. You had no effort. You just, all you did was, you were the boy who cry wolf and you didn't even do sh about it all right hold on maybe we could do like two more possibly this one is my boyfriend replaced me with a robot hey why does she open up like that hey she sounds so done like she doesn't even want to be a part of this video bro hey my name is clarissa and this story is about my completely immature boyfriend dennis daily he was the kind of guy that never helped with the housework and who always sat on the couch playing video games while i was doing laundry of course, Dumb that ass. made me angry. But whenever I asked him to help me out, he would say, My job as an accountant is very stressful, and I'm making twice as much money as you do. So, it's only fair if you do the housework. Okay, hold on. So does he actually make really good money, or is this just like a complaining thing? Like, is this just him saying that when he doesn't make that much money at all? We're gonna see in a minute, but I wonder, okay, if he actually does work a lot and then does make a lot of money and she's complaining because she has to sit in the house and do work, then I'm gonna be a little bit weird about this story because personally me, I like to do housework. I Even if I was working hard and stuff like that, I would love to do housework. I like doing housework. I'm very neat. I'm very clean with my stuff and things like that so it is kind of deadbeat that this nigga would just like i don't know not do anything to help out in the house but if he's actually making some good money and all she has to do is kind of chill and just make sure the house is all right then i'm gonna I'm gonna I'm a turn my head a little sideways just a, just a little bit Ugh. to make things worse my boyfriend was very insecure and always got jealous when i talked about other guys one time i just okay is that okay okay wait but it depends on how jealous let me let me see what she's talking about one time i just wanted to visit one of my co-workers inside the hospital okay because he had suffered from a heart attack okay but my boyfriend dennis grabbed my arm and told me to stay home what the fuck according to him only sluts spend time with other dudes when they have a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> See, because that's how I, because this is the type of shit that I feel. I feel like, I personally feel like you shouldn't be always, it, de it really depends. It's re It really depends because I feel like really you shouldn't always have to like make a whole bunch of other, like when you have somebody, you shouldn't always make friends, keep making friends with the opposite gender each and every single time. Like if you're um a guy and you're in a relationship with a girl and she, and you know what I'm saying? You care about her, you love her so much. Much, yada, 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 stuff like that and you have friends like female friends who are just really good friends with you who you've known before she ever even came in your life i feel like that's cool but having these new females around and stuff like that and bringing them into your life as your friend that's not bad but i feel like when you bring new people in your life and they don't know anything about your life especially if you got a girl like and you trying to bring these other girls into your circle of friendship like new people it could be sketchy and lead to something bad but that's just me i don't know yeah i know i know my boyfriend dennis was an idiot okay. and i should have broken up with him right then yeah but i guess i was scared of leaving him because I didn't know if I would ever find another boyfriend. Oh, shit. She's like this. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, y'all. I don't know. If y'all been in the game with y'all friends and shit, please don't think like this, idiot. Please. Because because th there's girls out there that be saying that all the time. I've met so many girls out there and had conversations with so many girls out there that say this exact shit. And they're mo you're usually the most prettiest, most hardworking, most intelligent girls out there and they'll be over here talking about them uh, well if i break up with my boyfriend who's a low life sack of shit who sits on the couch all day and puts his fingers up his ass all day then i won't get another boyfriend who's better who's better for me which is not true at all because there's so many guys looking for girls who are just as productive just as hard working as this but y'all are over here being blindsided because y'all want to stay with a nigga that's going to ruin your life and slowly but surely turn you into how lazy they are like stop it you're, you're like no that shit pisses me off move on however one day he called me the worst girlfriend in the world and then he criticized me saying that i didn't know how to properly clean a house 
I knew he didn't appreciate what? me at all. And that's why I told him I wouldn't sleep with him anymore until he apologized and finally started helping with the housework. Okay. Uh, he just got oh. really angry and said I would regret this badly. Well, you'll never believe what happened next. A few days later, a huge package arrived at our home address to Dennis. Okay. I was desperate to know what it was. And when Dennis came home, he made a big deal about opening it in front of me. And when I saw what was inside, I was shocked. It was a female sex robot. Yo, hold on. Look at the smile on this nigga's face. If this doesn't scream degenerate, I don't know what the f*** it would. I thought it was gonna be a robot. Like, I don't know. They were gonna do some dumb futuristic shit where the, this, this girl... Oh, this girl knows how to do this shit right. You, like, unlike you. No, this nigga got a full-on sex bot. Nigga, this ain't Detroit Become Human, bro. You're not getting shit out of that robot, bro. This woman's doing everything in the world for you, and you over here worried about wires and circuit board... Circuit board. <laughs> you trying to make a baby in that motherboard, bro. <laughs> you worried about wired tang and... Keep going with the video. Dennis smirked and said, That's what you get for not giving me what I want. Now what? I don't need you anymore because I have Anna. Anna. Can you believe Nigga that named thing it? had a name? And when he switched it on, it started talking. She said things like, Hello, Daddy. Are you ready to play? Oh, hell no, bro. <laughs> what the f***? Bro, what was the girl? What, what's the girl's name that was uh taking care of the house and stuff like that and doing all she could to keep to make sure the house was stable and good and ready? Come here, girl. Because I swear to God, this shit is not what a nigga wants. Eventually, if all you have is lust in a relationship, you are going to be tired, y'all. Y'all need a girl that is going to genuinely want to bring her whole heart and soul into you and make sure she sees the better out of you because if you just got a girl that's saying shit like this 100 percent of the time you're not gonna get shit out of life y'all i'm telling y'all right now you do not want a girl that's just going to lust your whole life away it's, it sounds it sounds good for what's going on in the bottom but it's not y'all i'm telling y'all right now it's not it, it will it will it will ruin your life you need a balance of love and lust and make to make sure when the when the half that both of those correlations because if you don't then there's gonna be no balance and y'all just gonna be all lust no love oh yes baby said dennis it was so <laughs> creepy that's when i realized that my boyfriend was completely mental i couldn't bear to yeah. be near him so i decided to sleep on the couch that night the problem was you on the couch you are cleaning all the sheets and everything and all she just said that there was noise coming from the bedroom yo nah are they really about yo i got it that the noise from our bedroom was really loud when i heard the robot say spank me dad what i don't know if i can watch this yo i decided to pack all my stuff and leave him for good i mean yeah you can't help someone like dennis and I think I deserve a boyfriend who appreciates me and no- Bro, who's that one nigga from that one ice- It was the movie about those four, like, heroes who were willing to save Christmas or something. Jack Frost? Yeah, girl, but you deserve yourself a, bi a better man. Go get yourself something good. how to look after a woman. Anyways, after I left Dennis, he wrote a long post on Facebook telling everyone what a bitch I am. He lied about why we broke up, saying I betrayed him, even though he was the one cheating on me with a robot. Ugh. Well, he's very good at playing the victim, which is why some of my friends believe the lies he spread about what? me. And they even wrote messages telling me I was a terrible person for cheating on Dennis. Well, I don't Your care own about friends. losing those fake friends. I only regret that I was staying with Dennis for more than 12 months. That was really dumb. But maybe I shouldn't be too hard on myself because you we shouldn't. all make mistakes. Either way, I hope you guys were able to learn something from my story. I hope you don't waste your time on an immature loser like I did. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Okay! Okay! That's a good ass story. It made sense. It was it, it was and that's a lesson for y'all. For y'all women giving giving these 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 fuck niggas. 
all your time in the world. Stop it, y'all. Y'all don't want a toxic guy. Y'all say you do, but you don't. Stop acting like you do. But, uh, yeah, that was a fun little video. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video right now because I was supposed to get this out for y'all, like, a very, very, like, like, way earlier, like, yesterday, but I was too busy playing Spider-Man 2. And that's a lot more important to me right now. <laughs> Oh god. But uh yeah, tell me if y'all enjoyed this video and stuff like that. I might make some more. It was pretty fun. It was actually really, really fun to do. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to click up that like button and roast that subscribe button like some more. And I will see y'all in the next video. Alright guys, I'll see y'all then.